the functional appliance. This is really, really very important, a very important topic. Very, very important topic. Okay. So listen, uh, guys, and uh, as an advice, and this is a study by Robert Lee, a professor at Queen Mary University. And he said that a minimum and minimum period of functional appliance is actually nine months. So if you are lucky and you get everything in three months, don't stop because mainly it is only, uh, this, uh, it's only posturing it's forward posture. yeah. and, and it is an oedema in the condyle which prevent the mandible from, back, uh, from sitting backward. So it is a false correction. If yeah. it's six months, it is a false correction. If, if you get a result in a three months, two months, four months, five months, you should continue until the nine months, okay? At least nine months, because if you, if within nine months, the, all this oedema um, uh, uh, and all this collagen fiber, which is a temporary collagen fiber type 10, will be converted to a more permanent stable fiber that will hold the mandible in their place. So to sum up, if you find your case, uh, uh, get a correction within three months, continue to, to, to nine months. If you find your case, get a correction within six months, continue to nine months. If you find that the case get a correction within nine months, then stop. If you find the case didn't correct it within nine months, continue until you get the connect, a correction and then stop. So this is my advice, minimum nine months. Minimum is nine months. Well, what's your retention regime? I, I put them six months nighttime wear. It, it's about 14, 14 hours, 12 to 14 hours. There are many retention regime and there's a good paper by Fleming de Beyaz in 2006 and they talk about how we, you convert from functional appliance to yeah. fixed appliance. So if your case is ready for fixed appliance, ideally you should complete the uh, cycle of nine months and then either you'll stop and jump directly to, to fixed appliance, yeah. okay? Or you can go to something called uh, a nighttime wear of the uh, twin block appliance. So you can allow the posterior tooth to erupt and the lateral open bite to be closed. Or you can use the steep and deep, which is something I don't want to explain, it's sli slightly difficult. So to be honest with you, the most important thing is to finish the nine month cycle and either you go for another three months of, of a gradual withdrawal of functional appliance or you jump directly. There is no difference. There yeah. is no difference. Yeah. So one comprehensive ortho start once functional plans finish most, most likely. Sometimes when you, when, you know, when I treat a early, very early child because of trauma or bullying, there is a retention phase, you know, some kids I have started quite early because of certain social problems. Um, and then, you know, you haven't had permanent dentition by the time you finish. So there can be that nighttime retention phase a little bit longer for them. So, but most likely most kids, if you time it right, you should do one phase. And in our course three, we're going to go into that um, evidence-based lecture on early treatment versus, you know, two phase versus one phase. What do the RCTs tell us? There's so many randomized controlled trials about it. Um, and we are going to go into a big critical appraisal in that, um, um, uh, in that course. Um, what do you use as a retainer? So I usually use the existing appliance as the retainer. So that is really um, as long as it will fit. Um, I don't know if Mo has a different retainer or you could just convert to a holy and, um, you know, but I think you still want that lower. I just use the twin block as a retainer. Well, to be honest with you, Vandana, if, you're, if you are starting your treatment in the late mixed dentition, yeah. so ideally by the end of functional appliance phase, which is, we agreed it is nine months, Yeah. hopefully all the teeth erupted and you are ready to go to fix appliance and you don't yeah. need a retainer. You might yes. use the functional appliance uh, for three months as at night time until yes. the rest of the teeth erupt. But the problem is sometimes we start in specific cases, we start in the mid mix dentition at the age of eight. Yes. Okay. And I've, I've and had those cases where I've started quite early because of certain yeah. reasons. Yeah, mainly because when there is a risk of trauma, when yeah. there is a risk of bullying and yeah. uh, you know, uh, all of this, then if you started early, the problem is how you will hold the result until the permanent teeth erupt and the second phase of treatment, which is, which is usually by fixed appliance. This is the issue. And to be honest with you, you just, uh, again, for nine months and stop until the patient, I reduce your overjet. You are at lower risk of trauma, lower risk of bullying. Then I want to see you back at the age of 11 when your teeth erupt 
maybe I will need another function appliance phase, mm. or maybe yeah. I will jump directly to fixed appliance. I don't know what yeah. I did is only interceptive to reduce the risk of yeah. trauma and bullying. So yeah. you be honest with them and explain to them what's going on. Perfect. Yeah, because you might need a second phase of functional appliance. I, I can also add to that. Um, we, I've had some patients who've come in who've seen a certain dentist who does a lot of functional and he's told them that by having functional treatment, they're going to avoid surgery later. And I think we can't guarantee that to patients. So, uh, you know, you can't say that by having functional now that they will have um, uh, you know, there'll be no surgery or there'll be no further treatment because a lot of parents will come to me and say, but our dentist who did the functional said there'll be no further treatment. So, you know, often treatment is required because there is relapse and um, class two patients can need surgery even after functional appliance treatment. So yeah, so giving the right consent is very important. And also you can't guarantee them that you can't, that there'll be no extractions in the future either. Yes, uh, I agree with you. So if you are going to start functional appliance at, at mid-mixed dentition or early age for the risk to reduce the risk of trauma and um, the risk of bullying, then this is called interceptive orthodontics. And I, I am sure that if uh, James has a good memory, he might still remember the uh, right definition of interceptive orthodontics, which is actually either avoid or reduce the need of a treatment in the future. So if you are going to use twin block in the early stage or functional appliance at early stage uh, at the age of eight, this doesn't mean that you will not treat, need treatment. You, you might need a treatment, but maybe shorter period of time or less difficult. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, with regard to the second question, whether it will reduce the need for surgery or extraction, this is not true because Kevin O'Brien's study in 2009 showed that actually patients who had functional appliance phase two phases, one at the age of eight and one at the age of, uh, of 12, uh, they have the similar rate of extraction, similar rate of uh, whatever uh, surgery. But yeah. the only thing is that the second phase is slightly shorter.